Well, hello everyone, I am Taegyung Lee from KAIST, and I'm very glad to present my paper named Occlumency, Privacy Preserving Remote Deep Learning Inference Using SGX. Uh, this is a collaborative work with KAIST, Microsoft Research, Seoul National University, Nanjing University, and Peking University. So suppose that you are using an intelligent mobile application, which is powered by, powered by deep learning. Uh, for example, we can think about an application that listens to my conversation and corrects my bad habits. So this kind of application will monitor my conversation with my friends and families. And what if this data is sent to the cloud? Uh, my personal and sensitive data will, will be exposed to leak or tampering. So cloud offloading is inevitable, but it is very risky. It is true that it, it is uh, using clouds is practical method to support mobile deep learning. Uh, it can e easily support very large model with very high accuracy, and it also consumes less resources. But it has very serious privacy concerns that the user data might be disclosed. So not only video uh, image and audio data, your activities and health medical data can be exposed. And this becomes more critical for mobile and I IoT services because they are life immersive. So instead of clouds, which sacrifices the accuracy, or on device, which sacrifices the accuracy and the speed of the model, we aim to build a secure cloud-based solution to strike the balance between privacy, speed, and accuracy. As a solution, we propose occlumency. Occlumency is a system uh, which pr preserves the user's privacy based on the cloud-driven deep learning inference. inference. Uh, our key approach is liberating the SGX enclaves. And the SGX is one of the commodity trust execution environment uh, technique, uh, which provides the highest protection level. It can prevent the memory access even from the operating system or hypervisor. So by using uh, SGX, SGX enclaves, our system can pro pro uh, protect two things. One, user data disclosure. And two, inference result manipulation. So Occlumency is a system for an app provider. As you can see in this figure, we have three stakeholders. One, app user, two, app provider, and three, cloud provider. So by using our system, app provider can safely run their model inside untrusted, untrusted clouds so then they can provide a trustworthy application to their users. So our main challenge is in the limited memory size. SGX has very small size of physical memory, which is 128 megabytes. And this is way too small to run DNN model inside. So in case of Windows, it fails to run the DNN. And in case of Linux, it makes frequent page swappings. And this page swapping is very expensive. As you can see in the figure, if the data inside the enclave is swapped off, it will move on to the, uh, to the unprotected memory. And during this process, uh, data encryption, uh, redundancy checking, and uh, some, some additional process for data recovery will, will be involved. So as a result, uh, running DNN inside the SGX becomes very slow. So if you want to run VGG or YOLO model inside the SGX, you need seven times longer latency. So we address this problem by enabling deep learning to run within very small size of the memory. Uh, so for the first step, we observe the three dominant memory usages, uh, that is model weight, intermediate feature maps, and convolution layer computation. The below figure shows the typical CNN process. And as you know, uh, it receives an input, processes each layer, and finally provides an output. Uh, here, we can find the dominant, mem uh, dominant memory usages. First, model weight. Second, intermediate feature maps. And lastly, uh, the red boxes uh, indicating the memory overhead of the convolution layers. So we devised three different techniques to effectively reduce the memory usages. And from now on, I will explain our techniques briefly. So the first one is uh, on-demand weight loading. On-demand weight loading saves the memory used to load model weights inside the enclaves. So our, our idea in here is not protecting the model weight. Because our goal is protecting the user privacy uh, and the model weights are relevant to the user data, so our system uh, keeps the weight inside unprotected memory and copy only part of it into the enclaves on demand. 
Uh, however, such design brings us a new problems, and the first problem is that the model weights might be corrupted. So now, uh, because we located the model weights in unprotected memory, it is no longer protected by the enclaves. So weight manipulation attacks may lead to the wrong inference results. So as a solution, we added model integrity checking module. Uh, this is a hash checking based weight modification detection module. So during the runtime, it uh, compares the hash value of each layer uh, with the pre-computed values. The second problem is uh, uh, additional computation bottlenecks. So as I explained in the previous slides, uh, our system involves weight copying and hash checking. And this becomes additional computation bottlenecks, which slows down the inference speed. Uh, here we apply parallel pipeline, so our system runs weight copy, hash check, and inference in different threads. And thus it reduces, uh, reduces the 17.5% of the latency. The second technique is memory efficient feature map allocation. Uh, this reduces the required memory for, to load intermediate feature maps as highlighted in the figure. The idea is very simple, uh, releasing unnecessary feature maps. So for a given model, uh, our system profiles when each uh, feature map can be released in, other, in, in advance, and during the runtime, it immediately deallocates the feature map, which is already have been used. The last one is partition convolution. Uh, as, as I explained, uh, we devised three different techniques, and this is the last one. So it reduces the memory overhead of the convolution layers, as shown in the figure, uh, which exceeds the heap limit of the SGX. Our idea is breaking down the big operation into smaller jobs. So as you can see the example in the figure, if we divide the operation by two, then it requires only half of the memory. So our system adaptively partitioned the, over, uh, the uh, divide the operation by two, four, or eight, so we can run the convolution layer within limited memory size while maximizing the inference speed. From now on, I will explain our evaluations. So we conduct CNN within SGX memory limit. And third, how much is the overhead of the occlumency? To answer these questions, uh, we use two different baseline. The first one is uh, SGX enclave without occlumency. Uh, we name this SGX paging because this involves a lot of page swappings. And the second baseline is native environment without any privacy protection. Uh, first of all, we verified that our system successfully run the DNA models uh, within SGX heap limit. So this graph shows how our system utilizes the memory to run VGG19 model. VGG19 is a very large CNN model which requires uh, almost one gigabyte uh, of the memory. But by using our system, it can run this model by using only 74 megabyte of the enclave memory. Uh, next, we also conducted an inference latency evaluation to answer question two and three. And to summarize the results, our system performs three to four times faster than, than the SGX paging, and it has 72% of the overhead compared to the native environment. And here we can find that our system effectively reduced the memory for DNN to fit into the SGX enclaves, and thus it can boost up the inference speed in the enclave, in, inside the enclaves. Uh, okay, so I would like to conclude my talk in here. So we propose occlumency, a privacy-preserving remote deep learning system. Occlumency enables clouds to safely run their models, in, uh, to safely run the DNA model inside. So it effectively reduces the memory for the DNA without compromising any accuracy. And also it makes possible to run DNA inside the SGX enclaves. Uh, this is an initial work of the secure cloud, which will open up a new opportunity to support mobile deep learning. I can strike the balance between privacy, speed, and accuracy. So it will be the best option for applications which uh, requires both high accuracy and privacy protection. Uh, this is the end of my uh, talk, and thank you for listening. <laughs>